All right, everybody. Um, we're back. We're gonna play some more Lisa. All right, here we are. So there's our guy with our suit that we could borrow, and he seemed trustworthy. I didn't get my ass pounded when I went into his tent. So, Let's see if we can find some bottles. He's full of holes. Okay, like we can go up here. Oops. Leave. Take your pervert war elsewhere. I want no part of this. Oh, he's pointing. Okay. Alright, so, cool. That was really useful. Um, hmm. Hey, yeah, let's jump down and see what this guy's got. Got anything? He's dead. Great, and I think I have to do a... I killed that guy. Congratulations, I think you've broken my neck. And I think I was supposed to ambush you. How the tables have turned. Are you okay, dude? Like, I know I broke your neck, but are you okay otherwise? Oh, no, I guess not. Okay, so there's all these doors. What just happened? What just happened? I do not know what the hell that's... What's going on? See the red skulls. It means Rando's army has taken over, which sucks. Because only in gasoline within miles is in there. How the hell am I going to make firebombs? He's dead. Okay, so I have to take another jaunt down and jump off of a cliff hill. Yeah. There, so we have an empty bottle. It is now the only item in our entire inventory. Terry! Hope it's worth it. Um, let's go through this hole so we don't have to jump down again. Hmm. <clears throat> Hold on just a second here. Do 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 do. All right. Cool. What's this? What's up, guy? Tommy, don't play with matches. Did you even get those, sport? Give them to me. Oh shit. You want? I'm looking for a child. Well, this is my orphanage, and all these kids have been abandoned. Taking care of them, because no one else will. Why are you... Tommy, <laughs> now look what you did. It's okay, sport. We'll get you to put that out. Could you give me that bucket of water? Bucket... Bucket of water? I was... Oh, this bucket. I'm sorry. You fool! Not that bucket, that was my gasoline bucket. What the fuck? You wouldn't let me go past. You're a piece of shit. All right, I'm gonna go get that bucket of water. Just hold on, orphans. I'll be right back. Yeah, the orphans are dust now. Well, that sucks, I guess, and I don't even get to keep a bucket or anything. That was really scripted, though. I don't think there was much I could do other than burn those orphans, because I tried to get past them, but whatever. Okay, um, there was like a noise over here before. I don't know. Hey, pal, are you okay? What's wrong? Getting sentimental, brother. Uh... No, I was just asking. Uh-oh, here it comes. I'm closing my eyes, okay? Whatever, dude. Good night, all the thing. Uh, bye. Lucas gave his final breath. Bye, Lucas. I wondered why you weren't in Smash Brothers this year. I guess that's why. Okay. Dude, what's up? Not sure what that was about. Anyway, whole mob of guys ran through here going about about a girl. That'd be the people I'm looking for. Bowling guy in pink with a phallic-headed man with a green cut. Cut the bridge out. 
They looked really scared. Neither of them were fit for battle. Everyone got pissed and started to leave. All of a sudden, these three dudes with amazing hair found the girl. Apparently, she's in that tr she was in that truck. Pretty crazy, huh? They invited everyone back to their clubhouse in the old factory. I didn't go. That chick looked ugly. Okay, well that's all there is there. I don't want can't jump that pit or anything. Um <laughs> Oh, I didn't read this poster is down here. The world can be saved. Find her. Status effects. Oh, cool. This is actually super useful. Um Scared, wary, weird. Stun, cry, rage, pissed. Drunk, hangover. Think, oh, 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 oh. So that weird gooby noise that I heard and that sparkle means withdrawal. So I'm withdrawn from joy. All right, cool. Um. Then I guess where should we start? First door. Whatever. I found a secret stash of magazines. I don't even care. Wait, of magazines? Ten mags? Mag magazines are the currency? Not quite sure I like the implications of that. Um, so I cannot jump this gap. I wonder if there's a way to do it later, or if it's just pretty styling, because this is not... Yeah, that's not happening. Well, there's gotta be a way to get over there. That or this game's the worst game ever. Hmm. World can be saved. Find her. There's like a dude down here. Smooth. Jesse. Okay. Cool dude, whatever. Not my problem. Alright, and I'm doing great on health, so I could fight something if I needed to. Mm -mm. I don't know where I'm going. Mm, you're a weird looking dude. Mm. Let's investigate the house first, just in case you pick a fight. Alright, nothing in there. What's up, dude? Da, da, da. Da, da, da. Oh, hello there. My name is Nern. I'm considered the greatest single historian in, of our time. We gathered a wealth of knowledge about Oleaf and what happened. Many tales would you like to hear? Yeah, sure, I totally care. I wish you were more enthusiastic. Well, I'll tell you anyway. Let's see. All right, it all started with what I like to call the Flash. I was sitting with my wife, God rest her soul, sipping sweet lemon tea. I believe it was homemade by my sweet wife, God rest her soul. Oh wait, maybe she brought it from the store in a bottle. You know, like a plastic bottle. Well, hold on now, that would be ridiculous. To buy a bottle of sweet lemon tea and then transfer its contents to a glass? Why not just drink it from the bottle? I guess maybe so she could put ice in the glass. <sighs> nern, nern, nern. Then again, making tea homemade would be just as time consuming, if not more. That's sneaky, bitch. Anyway, I'll save the story for later. So I'm sitting there on the porch drinking my sweet lemon tea. From a glass, of course. Yeah, we have established that. When suddenly, a strange strain of great strangeness fills my body. Something was wrong. I've lived many years and have never felt something like that before. Do you know what it was? Yep. It was my rocking chair. What? That wooden son of a gun stopped rocking. So I looked down and realized a little rock had gotten caught beneath my chair. A rock underneath my rocking chair. What a day. I decided it was time for bed. It had a little bit too much excitement for one day. So I slid into my jammies, brushed my teeth, and said my prayers. When I was just coming to bed, I noticed my wife, God rest her soul, brushing her hair in the bathroom. Peered across the hall, my body swelled up with emotion. Why can't I be married to an attractive woman? Jesus Christ. Is it me? My bank account? I'm a tall guy. I work out 40 minutes a week. Is that not enough? Now my neighbor, at the time, Tom Fortnite, Forknight? For, Fortnite, Fortnite, was very short. His wife, Karen Fortnite Plattberger, 
Yeah, one of those women. Well, she was more attractive than my wife. I'd say she was a soft six, whereas my wife was a hard four. What's the deal? I thought women liked tall men. Why was Karen with him? Da, 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 da. Game, you're pissing me off here. You're, get, you're getting on my nerves with this shit. And my horse was like, fuck off. God rest her soul. Called Linda to bed with me. And she decided to leave the bedside light on so she could read her book. It was one of those romance novels again. Give me a break. As if I already don't feel inadequate enough. Not only do I have to compete with Tom, I have to deal with these fictional hunks. Ay ay ay. At this point, I had already suppressed the urges of intimacy and rolled over and tried to sleep. Her bedside line light was only of minor annoyance, and I was able to drift off. And I woke up to the big flash of light. That's about it. Fuck that story. Fuck you. I am out. You can tell by the way you're walking away that you don't want to leave. If you really want to hear another story, I'll tell you. Oh my god. It was upon a hot summer night, sometime in July. Was it July? My local grocery store sells really good eggs in July. I don't know why. Do chippins, chip, chickens operate better in the heat? Fireworks, maybe? I don't know. I don't want to get off topic. No, you get off topic. Imagine that. The point is, the eggs that summer were marvelous. Anyway, my wife and I, God rest her soul, went to a barbecue that night. It was held at Dale Spooner's house. Well, his backyard. Connie Spooner doesn't want people in her home. I think she's just an uptight bitch. Game? Game. You're pushing my buttons right now, and I'm not liking it. So at the barbecue, I see none other than, that's right, Tom Forknight. Uh, now, earlier in the day, my wife, God rest her soul, may have made potato salad for the barbecue. Personally, I hate potato salad. I'm a mashed kind of fellow. Ho ho. Sat on the TV room, avoiding her till the barbecue. Once we were at the party, I made sure to distance myself from my dumb potato bitch wife. Okay, I'm fucking your bastard. What the hell is wrong with you? God rest her soul. I didn't want anyone to think that I would associate with someone who would bring potato salad. Anyway, Tom and his above-mediocre wife were already there. And get this, they brought fruit salad with whipped cream. The nerve of those fork nights. Needless to say, I gave my wife, God rest her soul, a couple of choice words. About whipped cream versus potato salad. Son of a bitch. A real tongue lashing. Fuck off, alright? I'm done with you. Getting out of here. I'm not jumping off to my death, though. This is awkward. Now we have to walk together. Okay. What the fuck? Oh, well, Logan. Funny seeing you here. What, are you following me or something? Anyway. I often wonder what happened here. Oh my god, after what was that big flash? Why are we all here? Even our day and night cycle is odd. Sometimes day lasts ages and nights come rarely. These clouds, so strange. What's happened to our Earth? Enough of that boring stuff. I once had a really kooky day with the doctor's office. Oh my god. Gonna fucking murder you. Jesus Christ. I was waiting in the room reading a teen magazine. Normally I don't indulge in adolescent publications, but I couldn't resist. I had recently heard the new artist on the radio, Ulysses Utensils. She's some young woman, or maybe a boy. I don't know. Either way, that child can really grasp my attention. So I'm reading this magazine because I saw Ulysses on the cover. Still wasn't able to identify it as a man or a woman. As I'm reading, I notice something on the ceiling. Look up, and there's some water damage. I think a doctor would be able to make enough money to maintain his office. I guess he cares about his cool jet skis more than patient's comfort. And his arguably big house and his hard-bodied wife. I wish my wife was like that. We get a fucking st big ol' melons. And just then, a droplet of water falls from the ceiling. My eyes trail all the way down to the ground. I stared at the floor for some time, watching the carpet absorb the water. Suddenly, my attention is caught by a small child. The child was glaring directly at me. I saw the devil looking right back at, at me beneath his eyes. I got nervous and quickly stared directly at my feet, not, as not to aggravate the child. And that's when I noticed something. I was wearing two different kinds of socks. Golly, I'm all revved up after that. these thrilling exchanges. To be fair, you're a bit of a bore, but beggars can't be choosers. Think I'll stick around? No! Oh. Oh my god. Fuck you. If this wasn't the apocalypse, I would throw you out on your ass, you fucking douche. Okay. Nope. 
Oh, hey, more beer bottles. Alright, Nern. First chance I get, your ass is getting killed. You know, I would trade all of my stuff for Terry, and he doesn't even do damage. But Nern, your ass is on notice. I'm gonna fucking set you on fire. Bars. Not for people. Behind people for hire. Party members in and out. Huh, okay. Being drunk in battle will increase your strength and put decrease your hit rate. Oh, I don't being drunk rules. A little interest in Scandalous magazines. I'm just looking for a stiff drink and good memories. Can't buy you a drink because I don't have enough money. Yoo-hoo. What happened to my man? You got a couple of mags for me? I'll run with your pack, brother. Rage Ironhead, an energetic pro wrestler known for his devastating headbutts. I don't have 70 mags? What the fuck? He's a high speed and attack with somewhat low defense. What's this do? Oh, sweet, I can rem Yes, get the fuck out of my party. I could take out Terry. Um... No. 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 You know what? No. We're not. We're just... Fuck you, Nern. You're a piece of shit. We're not, we're not dealing with you. I'm in a... Fucking... Apocalyptic future full of douchebags, and I don't need you... Fucking dealing with you at the same time. Alright. It's like a town. Okay. Okay. I'm starting to reconsider this withdrawal, like, considered fucking not taking drugs policy. But, uh,. We're just going to tough it out, and hopefully we won't have too much withdrawal. Whoa! They have a secret room, too. We found a leather poncho. Can I use that? Yeah, I use ponchos. Leather poncho! Fuck, Nern's still in my party! Oh, no, he's not. He's just in... Oh, okay. <sighs> he's just, like, in my backup party. Like, I can strip him of all of his stuff. There. You have nothing. Hey, Terry, can you... You cannot. Okay, wait. Can you equip a shield? No, you can't. Alright, never mind. My bad. You'll think this girl is some kind of godsend. But that ain't so. She's gonna tear us all apart. Here, brother. I got a stack of magazines with your name on it. I just need me a refreshing bottle of liquor. You look like Hulk Hogan. Yeah, you sound like Hulk Hogan. Potato liquor, potato liquor, potato liquor. All right, all right, all right, all right. Let's go to the bar. Let's see if we could buy a potato liquor. Maybe it's cheaper if I just buy it myself instead of buying it for that other guy. He probably drinks fancy booze. Do do do. <laughs> Buy. Yeah, potato liquor. There you go. Only need the one. Honestly, like, okay. I know this really sucks, but I I'm having, like, hindsight. I really don't want to leave Nern out of my party. He's an asshole, but he has a gun, and none nobody else in my party can use it. I mean, we'll see. If I get into trouble in later fights, like I need the extra firepower, I'll have to bring him out of retirement, but I really don't want to. Uh, here, Hulk Hogan's house. 50 magazines? Dude, well, I can go talk to that other guy now. Um, but buy him a drink? I don't know if that's, like, gonna do anything or not. <laughs> His 
friend says buzz off and he says don't mind him he's not he's just a bit of a prick and there's another guy who'll give me soup i think i don't really know what's up people man hello old chum want to invest in my wonderful product it's really worth your time no i don't want to invest in your product i need those magazines right now i need to give them to a man in exchange for drinks and hopefully what oh i'm just withdrawn again that's fine. Do, do, do. What do we got at the shop? That's worse than the one I found. That's better. It's flammable, though. Oh, an, a tank top. And I can get a better thing for... No, a nerd, that's what he'd had. Well, I can get a better tank top for Terry. Better... I don't know this... We're gonna do this for sure. Just because Terry dies so damn much. Equip. There. This seems like such a dumb idea. But I was right. Alright. Wait a minute. Suck it! What a rush. That was great. Take this. Bottle of perfume. The hell, dude. That hurt. Yeah, you're an asshole. Ow. Hey, what up, dude? Honestly, I'm happier now that the world is ended. It helps that my wife and kids aren't here. That's... kind of fucked up. Yeah, I'm gonna take some soup. I'm gonna take as much soup as you're gonna let me have. All of your soup. There. Took all my soup. I did. I did. I'm sorry. I need it more than you do. Alright, do we wanna buy a shag poncho? No. I have 44 magazines. I should save them up because I can at least get that wrestler to join my party. He's gotta be worth something. Ouch. Hmm. I do not like the looks of this. Yeah, you know what? You know what? We're gonna go see if we can get that other guy to join our party. <laughs> this town's pretty chill. It's in here. Okay, just a blue room. Did I, I checked here, didn't I? Yeah, I did. That's a creepy guy that wants me to give him money. So what's your story, bald man? I'm looking for someone. Seems a lot of people have been doing that recently. Anyone specific? I should go. Hold on. I don't want to pry into your business. If you want another thing coming, if you think you can do this on your own. A war is gonna go on. You're gonna need allies. Besides, I owe you a drink. Olin, a generally reserved man. He handles his bow well and handles his liquor superbly. Sounds good to me. <laughs> See, that guy's pretty nice. I don't have to submit to assholes. I wish I could afford you. Where do I get more mags? 70 is a lot. Um, Alright, um... Oops. Alright, so, let's see. What I think we might do... Is walk back over to that corner and deal with. It. I'm pretty sure you gotta fight that big guy. I know it's being paranoid, but this game so far has not given me a lot of reason to trust. Mm -mm -mm. Wait, I should look and see if I can equip Olin. You can't use a shield in your. Okay. So there is some overlap of equipment between characters. Like, uh, even though I just use the poncho and. Terry uses his jersey. These other guys both seem to use dainty shawls. 
Alright, here we go. Let's go fight this guy. I guess it must have been the spiky shoulder paths that made me think I needed to fight him. There's an abandoned building just down the way here. My friends and I are playing cards in there. I just stepped out for some air. You should join us. Right? I mean, it's not an abandoned building if you're in it, but I guess I get what you're saying. Okay. I'm just gonna ask right now. Does that cabinet look like it has, like, a scrotum? Oh, it's a dude's legs. Thank God. Alright, bye. Oh, I can buy weapons here? Oh, man. Alright, so we got a better gun for douchebag. We got Olin wooden bow and wool wristbands. Alright. Can't afford any of that stuff. There's lots of places to spend money and not a lot of places to get it so far. And this would be that a building that they were talking about. I'm going to just scope out the area here first. What the hell? Okay. To build Muhammad's Iron Tiger Karate Center? Would you like to learn my Iron Tiger technique? It won't be easy. Sure. See that cliff over there? You just fall off of it until I think you've proved your worth. Speak to me when you've proven yourself. Are you fucking serious? Alright, whatever. Not impressed yet. Keep going. Alright. This is dumb. One. It's just a way to kill you, isn't it? I bet you he doesn't... Hold on. Not impressed yet? Keep going. I'm back in withdrawal mode. Alright, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna keep doing this. How about now, Sensei? How about now? Am I dying? Not really. What I'll do is I can just go back to town and rest after this. Alright, alright, here we go. Well done. He actually does. You've proven your power. I got a karate scroll. Make sure you read it. Written in English. It can't be that authentic. It increases defense. Oh, okay. So I can increase anybody's defense? Brad, your defense is now better. Right, that was a worthwhile waste of five minutes of jumping off a cliff. Um, so, what are the chances this abandoned building on the edge of town is a, is a trap? I don't know. You know what? Fuck it. Let's do it. Got the joy, the joy, the joy down in my heart, down in my heart. I got the joy down in my heart, down in my heart today joy down in my heart how about you yikes it was a trap oh it's you your heart seems unhappy let's cheer it up you got some joy remember to take care of yourself I'll check up on you soon well Wait, am I, like, did they just give it to me? They didn't even make me take it, they just gave it to me? And was like, hey man, you should take this. 
So I'm still withdrawn. Alright, well, whatever. That turned out better than I thought. You know what? Um, I'm actually going to save and end this episode here because we've hit 30 minutes. And we'll just continue right away. Alright.